Hi everyone, I'm here today with Penny Yeo, Vice President Human Resources, Asia Pacific Region at UPS. The UPS team has just won the Bronze Award for Excellence in Workplace Culture at the HR Excellence Awards 2021 Singapore. A huge congratulations to you and your team, Penny. How did you feel when your company's name was called out at the ceremony? Yeah, I was elated. You know, thank you so much for the recognition and for the judges also to recognize UPS of our efforts in cultural change and improvement. It is really another stamp of assurance for us that we are able to be on the right track when it comes to change management. So I'm very happy to see where we are today and how far we have come in terms of our workplace culture. Thank you. I'm sure there are many secrets behind this success. What would you say was the biggest one? If it's one thing that I would need to single out would be people. So let me elaborate a little bit more if you don't mind. So I'm talking about UPS leadership. I'm talking about the committees behind the cultural change, as well as all employees who look for ways to be agile and innovative while seeking opportunities to be empowered. So to me, getting buy-in from the top leaders, well, it's not easy, especially when it often means that they need to shift focus from their more immediate day-to-day -day, uh, objectives to prioritize cultural change, which is a little bit more long-term. So overall, we have performed well as a business. So um, it ultimately boils down to our people and people look to their leaders for inspiration and guidance. Um, at the end of the day, it starts with the leaders as well. We need them to walk the talk and model the behaviors we want to see in our people. Well, behind all this, obviously, there's a strategy for cultural change. And we have this thing called UPS APEC Vision Map, where it was designed to help every UPS employees to understand our goals and aspirations and how we will get there together. So we didn't just let it turn into a poster hung on the wall in our office. Um, we deployed more than 80 local ambassadors across the APEC region, launched a cadence of activation programs, and even developed a mobile app to drive people employee engagement. So overall, you know, we have all the strategies, but ultimately the biggest, biggest um, uh, area that set us apart is really our people. It's a very interesting response. And indeed, I think, um, you know, to put it lightly, it, teamwork makes the dream work. So really everyone's effort played a huge part in this. Exactly. And on that note, what do you have to say to all the stakeholders who have supported you on this journey? What's one key message you would like to convey to them through the win? Yeah, you know, um, when it comes to culture, there is no end game. You know, it is, it's always a journey, right? So culture evolves and that challenge is to is, is already being magnified when you talk about a huge group of employees. So while we take the time to celebrate, which is our fantastic achievement here, well, at the end of the day, we also need to recognize that we are not done yet. We're not there yet. We need to find more ways to tie it back to our business targets and goals. And we also want to be the leading logistics service provider. And we can get there through all this agility and willingness to look at things differently and thereby is part of our culture of learning, you know, constant learning by empowering our people to embody what it means to be a UPS and run with it. So we expect it, you know, to be a journey, like I said earlier. And I will tell all employees and all stakeholders, you know, we have got here and there's no reason why we can't even scale greater heights going forward. I think you put it really nicely, Penny. And, you know, I wish you all the best in the journey ahead. And we hope to see, you know, more achievements coming up. And, in fact, we hope to see you at next year's HR Excellence Awards as well. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>